It's as unconventional a looking stadium as any you'll find in North America. With its shape, its overhang, the fact that there's natural grass in an indoor barn. But Marlins Park in the Little Havana neighborhood of downtown Miami is vintage South Florida. Much art, plenty of glitz, a lot of color. And in an era where throwback ballparks were the rage, this is a modern facility. Earlier this weekend, P.J. Loyello, an executive vice president with the Marlins, gave us a tour of this sparkling facility. All kinds of stuff going on here in Miami. We have dancers. We have this huge thing in center field. We have the aquarium. Smallest footprint in baseball. It's uh, 960,000 square feet. Uh, smaller in San Francisco. You get to see it when you get to the uh, outfield area and with the overhang, it's called the home run porch. So left-handed hitters get a little fun with this, but you're pretty much, as you see, you're on top of the field. It's uniquely Miami indeed. Each section of the stadium is identifiable by the colors renowned artist Joanne Miro displays upon entrance into the facility. Loria is an art dealer and wanted the colors to be a focal point inside the building. And Miro is Loria's favorite artist? Right, and that's why we get the red, yellow, green, blue quadrants here, is for that reason. So, you see the floors are blue, because you're in the blue quadrant. Right. The signage for the concessions, Burger 305, blue. So the walls change, they go from blue, lead into yellow. The floors do the same thing. You go from a blue floor to blue and yellow. Construction was a 33-month endeavor. More than 5,600 people, primarily local, helped build the stadium. It's the new wave of ballparks. There was a lot of retro ballparks and a lot of brick buildings, and this is the, the first really new one that's being built like this, incorporating the color, incorporating some of the, uh, the newer amenities. Bells and whistles, there are plenty. The retractable roof takes 13 minutes to open and close. The windows in the outfield, 8 minutes if they're shut, depending on the day. Hitters want the natural air since the humidity helps the ball fly. Pitchers feel it's a different park altogether when it's climate controlled at 22 degrees Celsius. A home run leads to this, giving it a South Florida feel. And what's more Miami than a nightclub in left field that is absolutely unreal with its scenery. <laughs> Jeffrey Loria, still enemy number one in Montreal, has his fingerprints all over this stadium design. He choreographed the entire project with architect Earl Santee, insisting the outdoor columns resemble palm trees. Inside, concrete pillars in the concourse show today's starters in the lineup. And he sat together at a London hotel about five years ago and he sketched out what he wanted. No kidding. And this is what he wanted. He wanted something that was round, something that was different, that would fit in the landscape of Miami. Yeah. And this is what he came up with. It's unique. It's Miami. You know, it's this ballpark works in Miami. You put this in Minnesota, maybe a different story.